Did y'all see that? Who? Nope. I'm so excited, y'all. Look at this. Look at my little dropper. Oh, we are making gummies today. I'm so excited. Hey, everybody. Welcome back into Home Fix. My name is Loretta. Guess what we're doing today? We are making some souped up gummies. These little suckers are going to pack a punch and immunity boosting because we need all the help we can get right about now. I'm always looking for interesting ways to incorporate sea moss gel because I know about all of the benefits concerning it. And don't tell anybody. Don't tell my little boy for sure, but I can get him to get some sea moss gel and all the goodness too. All right, so I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. It's interesting. Let's do it. Sounds cool, right? Yup. Hit that subscribe button. Comment below what flavor of gummy you would try. I'm gonna show you what I'm using right now. It is a cran mango flavor, so I hope this works out okay. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. And then make sure you hit that like button. I'm going to take you back to the stove so we can get started right now. All right, y'all, let's get started. I have one cup of that cran mango ocean spray juice. It's a diet, and it has two grams of carbs and one gram of sugar per cup. And that is what I put in there exactly, so this works great. And that's gonna allow me to have the nice, sweet, juicy flavor. That's gonna be the base of my flavor today. And we're just gonna build on that. All right, I turned this light off so you can see this. This is Elderberry Boost, black elderberry syrup with some outstanding benefits to it, y'all. And I only have this much left. I have another full jar of this, but I forgot to take it out the freezer. But this, this'll work out fine. And I'll tell you about the benefits of that. I'm gonna go ahead and add in this into the pot all right let's see how much this shakes out to be y'all so i have a tablespoon right here and by fyi this is over a medium heat there's one tablespoon two full tablespoons because this stuff is strong y'all it tastes kind of like cough syrup so i would not take this by itself i normally put this in my smoothies when i have it i'm going in with a tablespoon of monk fruit so that is a sugar substitute for uh, your keto lifestyle that is plant-based and allows me to sweeten it up, okay? I'm going to go ahead and give that a stir since it has that granulated factor to it. All right, let's keep going. Next, I'm going to add some agar agar, which is our vegan vegetarian type of gelatin powder to thicken this up. So I'm going to start with a tablespoon of this and I may need to, you know, go in with some more. All right, let's whisk this up because we don't want this to get clumpy. Because you know, you know, how cornstarch does <laughs> and gelatin in general, it's supposed to thicken. So we want to make sure that we keep it moving. Now we want this to get bubbly and basically come to a soft boil as it thickens and then we'll add our sea moss gel off of the heat so let's do a little bit more stirring as we do that let's talk about the elderberry elderberry they're berries that are uh, packed with antioxidants and vitamins to boost the immune system and it's a perfect addition to these gummies you guys and the taste on it is, is uh, like I said it's kind of like cough syrup for real and so that's why I like to incorporate it in something but it is really, really good for you. And then that agar agar, like I said, is gonna give this nice thickening component. And then we're gonna come in with that, the star of the show, the sea moss gel. <laughs> all right, y'all check this out. So this I think is right. So I did add another teaspoon. So all in all of the agar agar, I added two tablespoons plus one teaspoon. You see how this is gelling up? Look at that, look at the spoon. See that? That's what you want. You want it to start gelling up like that. You don't want it thin. Thin is not going to help you out when it comes to the gummy texture. So, next, I brought the stove over here, y'all. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon in here because I feel like it needs a little bit of brightening. Just a little bit. Like, literally, that's it. All right, so that's in there. Now, these are my new sea moss gel packets that I got. I didn't expect them to come in packets. It looked like from the advertisement they were in um, glass jars. So this kind of surprised me. So it says eight ounces, but y'all tell me if that looked like eight ounces. I don't know. 
I will leave the uh, company in which that I, you know, bought these from down below. But I'm excited to try these out because of the flavors and some of the ingredients in them. So this is just regular peach sea moss gel. All right. This one is, let's see here. Strawberry bladder rack burdock root. This is actually what we're using today. Ooh, and burdock root is good for uh, to be used as a diuretic or help with um, your blood pressure. Make sure that is regulated. So I'm going to be using that one today. And then this one is soursop bladder rack burdock root. And I don't know. I don't think it has a flavor. So anyway, I love to use these in my smoothies, but today is going in my gummies. So let's do it. One, two, three, four. Y'all see I spilled a little bit in here already, so <laughs> it's all good. All right. I haven't tasted it yet, so let me give it a taste. Let me let, it, let me taste this, y'all. Let me taste it. Um, it's good. It's it's not as strawberry flavored tasting as I would have thought which is okay, especially if you're like adding it to a smoothie, you might not want it to be overpowering. You might want the other flavors that you're adding into your smoothie to take over. So this works great. It's more of a neutral with a little strawberry undertone. Great. I want to hurry up and get this going because I don't want this to set up because you know how gelatin is now, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and get it into our molds. All right, y'all, I just pulled the gummies out of the fridge and they were in there for about 35 minutes. So look at what we got. This is it right here. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pop them out. I'm gonna show you how easy it is for them to come out. <gasps> look at that, look at that. This is awesome. Okay. So this is what we got. Oh. That one just bit the dude. <laughs> Do y'all see how easy these are coming out? Look at this. I didn't spray these or anything. Super easy. So nice. Okay, here's the final result of what we got. And this yielded quite a bit. So I'm curious to see what this is coming out being. Now already it's kind of, you break it apart here. Y'all see that? It's mushy. So it doesn't have the consistency of a gummy necessarily. All right, so I have my little kiddo here and he's gonna test this out for us before I even taste it. I haven't tasted it yet. So let's bring him over and let's see what you think about it. Go ahead and get you one, bud. Reach your hand in there. And it's, let me know, what does it feel like? Um, It's very um, um mushy. Mushy, okay, I'll see what it tastes like. Um, it's like kind of bland, kind of, um, a little bit of sweet. Okay. Is this something you would eat? Um, yes. Okay, awesome. Get you a couple of those. All right. All right, you guys. So you heard it right there. My little kiddo, he's seven years old. He said that he would eat it. So I'm going to go in now and get a taste, all right? Yuck. Yeah. It totally does not have the consistency of a gummy, okay? Your traditional gummy, don't expect that. The taste, it's okay. It's 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 okay. It has a little fruit a flavor to it. It's not like an overbearing kind of fruit. I don't taste like a medicine-y. I don't taste sea moss. So your kids will be okay eating this, okay? The cool thing about this is you can get sea moss and burdock root and bladder rack in your kiddo thank you for joining me today thanks buddy for trying it out if you like what you saw today make sure you hit that subscribe button comment and like let me know if you plan on making some of these gummies what a great way to get some good vitamins and minerals into your kids and yourself 
and I'll see you guys next Friday. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you check out the links in the description box. There will be a playlist for you for all of my CMOS videos, okay? Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye!